Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and putting that off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish. In the day of vengeance, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God so people here forbear. This is not the time. The scriptures say, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Isaiah 55 and 6. Breeze feel good, man. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. You, you see what happens when you take your time. Look, look the Lord judgment is going forth. The Lord is judging these wicked Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, man. Show sure enough, it took their sweet little time. The scripture said, "Make no tearing to turn to the Lord." Let's read it again. Sirach, chapter five, verse seven. Make no tearing. The word tearing means to wait. See, see, the Lord got us bring out these scriptures over and over and over again, man. You know, remember, wisdom cried with, wisdom cried without. She uttered for a voice in the streets. How long will you simple ones love simplicity, and fools hate knowledge? That's what the Lord is basically saying to you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. How long, how long y'all gonna um, ignore the words of the Bible? How long? You gonna, you gonna wait till you end up like DMX, huh? You know what I'm saying? You know, you're going you're gonna to wait till you end up like Eddie Longthong, right? You know? You're going to wait till you end up like Pop Smoke, right? You're going to wait till you end up like Whitney Houston, right? And the list goes on and on and on and on. Make no Terry to turn to the Lord. You know? She act like they busy doing something. You ain't doing nothing. Nick Rose, Latinos, and they're making that like they're so busy with their career. They put everything before the Lord when the scriptures say, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all things shall be added. But we're going to read on. And putting that off from day to day. I get to it tomorrow. I get to it the next day. No, you ain't. Stop lying. The Lord said, Don't put it off from day to day. Seeking, and, seeking your how about Shimei Shai, do you not want to put it off from day to day? Because that judgment shown enough be coming, boy. Show enough. This is for suddenly shall the wrath. You, you keep putting it off from day to day. DMX kept putting it off from day to day. And then the Lord, you know said, told him that he was an Israelite. You know, but that fortune and that fame, you know, the cares of this world, the cares of this life choked him out. And not just him. He, he's just the latest, he's just the latest face of what happens. See, Yahweh Bashimash, there's no respect to person, man. Small or great, I'm gonna get that Lord willing next. Small or great, rich or poor, it don't matter. You're not seeking the Lord, judgment gonna get you. It says, um, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. See, this will happen. Vengeance comes upon the majority of our people that don't seek the Lord, man. You do not want to feel the wrath of the Lord. You do not want to feel the wrath of your how about Shimia. You don't want it. You think you want it. But, but you don't. Let's get this. Let's get this. Oh, yeah, the scriptures tell us it shall go well with those that fear the Lord. You know, and I'm just roughly paraphrasing. A short little lesson, man. Re remember what the Lord said about um, being lukewarm? The Lord gave us the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding of the scriptures. Why, why, why are you lukewarm? Why? Nobody ain't going to chase you down to make you do a lesson, kick you in your ass to make you do a lesson. It's going to be on you at the end of the day to take heed to the words. You know? 2 Chronicles chapter 15. I don't know why this app acting up. But it is. It's working now. Um, Second Chronicles chapter fifteen. Did it stop? Yeah. 
a new app. I'm just now um, toying with it or whatever, so bear with me. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. I'm going to blow it up right quick. Because it says, make no terror to turn to the Lord. The, the basic lesson, back to the basics. Back to the basics, fearing the Lord, turning back, repenting. Back to the basics, seeking the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that pertains to you, Nick Rose, Latinos, and Ed or McKinney, that pertains to us, right? This is, should be put to death, all right? So if you're not seeking the Lord power of Israel, you know, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lord said he's going to put you to death, whether small or great. It don't matter who you are. It don't matter if you're famous. It don't matter if you're a bum on the streets, man. You know, whether small or great, whether man or woman, if you're not seeking the Lord, yeah, women, women, women getting judged too. All right. Oh yeah, the men, the men supposed to seek the Lord. You women too. All right. The scripture said whether man or woman. Look, look, no respect of persons, right? No respect of persons. Let's see what else. I got some things written down, and I, then I got some scriptures that I'm just flowing through the spirit at the same time too. Let's get Deuteronomy. It's a whole lot of newcomers coming into this thing of ours. We gotta go back to the basics for them. They, they don't know what they know. Deuteronomy chapter ten. Where Israel know, huh? Deuteronomy chapter ten, verse twelve, and it reads. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power, Yahweh by Shem Shai, require of thee? What, what does the Lord require of us? You know what I'm saying? You know, matter of fact, let's get a definition for require. Let's go to the dictionary right quick. Let's go to the dictionary. Type in the um, definition for require. It says, what does the Lord, our power, require of us, right? Let's move this up. Require. Let's see. It says, what does the Lord, our power, require of us, right? Let's get it right here. Require. Play it right quick. Require. Require. It's a verb. Need for a particular purpose. Have need of. Let's see, necessary. This is a this is a necessity. You know what I'm saying? Needed. Chosen, preferred, desired, recommended. Mandatory. You see that? Mandatory. Calls to be necessary, right? Demand. AKA command. You know? So the Lord commands us. Let's go back. Let's go. Let's go right back. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, commands us. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's see what, what the Lord commands us to do. We're going to look. Deuteronomy 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, our people before us a place. What doeth the Lord thy power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, command of thee? Because we just looked up the definition for the word require. The word require means to command. But to fear, it's a commandment that we fear the Lord. That's the first commandment right there, that we fear the Lord. You know? And then we worship our power and don't worship no other entity. You know? Because our power is a jealous power, right? But to fear the Lord, our power, thy power, to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord. And uh, I'm serving the Lord by doing this lesson. And to serve the Lord, thy power, with all thy heart all your mind and with all thy soul to keep his commandments to the best of your ability we're rehearsing the righteous acts to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good the, the Lord been showing us taking care of us too Israel the Lord been showing us so much mercy so much mercy you know and, 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 and you know guess what Israel we don't deserve it alright we're being shown mercy that we don't even deserve the Lord said, I punish you less than what your iniquities deserve. We don't deserve mercy. We get it wicked as we been, man. And the Lord's still showing us love. This is Psalm chapter 73. 
Psalms chapter 73. We start at 27. For lo, for lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. The Israelites that are worshiping Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, so forth and so on, just keep naming them over and over and over, the Kemet gods, so forth and so on, you're going to perish, man. You're going to perish out here in these streets. Thou has destroyed, not love. Look, thou, remember, they, they say the God of the Bible loves everybody. You can come like you want to. You can do whatever the hell you want to. This, this scripture ain't saying that. Thou has destroyed all of them that go a whoring from thee. Because you know Israel played the all Israel played the whore. You know what I'm saying? By taking on these different philosophies and these different customs and worshiping these false um, idols, so forth and so on, we played the whore. So the Lord said, the ones that are still going a whoring from thee are going to perish, man. All right? Perish. Verse 28. But it is good for me to draw near to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. I have put my trusty drawing near to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. That's a, that's a refuge right there, man. That's protection. That's a hedge of protection. What are you talking about? But it is good for me to draw near to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. But as soon as you start seeking the Lord... The Lord put his spirit on you to see you. Are oh, you scared? You scared? What's, what's that term in the hood? If you're scared, go to church? No, no. We, we, we know the terror of the Lord. We're scared of the Lord. You're right. We are scared. Scared of the Lord. We're scared of what the Lord can do to us. That's madness. That's madness right there, man. That's madness right there. That's, that's what you would call noise pollution. But it is good for me to draw near to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. I have put my trust in the Lord. We ain't leaning into our own understanding. I have put my trust in the Lord. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. That I may declare all thy works, man. All right? Turn to the Lord. You children of Israel. Let's get on. Um, what is it? Um, Job. Let's get Job right quick. Couple of scriptures, Job the twenty eighth chapter. Job twenty eight. Well, I mean, Israel, tell tell me, what else is there to do besides seek the Lord? I'm gonna get that um that Isaiah fifty five two. I quoted it. This is um Salakia. This is Job chapter twenty eight. I'm gonna blow it up, verse twenty eight, and it reads Job chapter twenty eight, verse twenty eight. And, and it's a man, he said, the Israelite man, woman, and child, behold, which means to look, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. And this is what we're supposed to be feeding our people with. See, one thing about this word, you got the bitter and you got the sweet. We're supposed to feed our people with everything. That's just like when you're eating a meal. When you're eating a full course meal, you don't just got yams on the plate. You got yams, you got your greens, you got your meats. You might got some rice, you got some bread. You might got your wine or some water, man. All right? That's just like this word. Everybody want the sweet all the time. But then they don't never want to feed our people with the bitter. It's bitter written up in this word right here, man. You got the bitter and the sweet. You got the, um, the good, bad, and the ugly. You know? We got to teach about things that's going to offend people. You know? Oh, yeah, the scriptures say offenses must come. Offenses are going to come, man. People are going to get offended at the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Offenses must come, but woe to, to whom the offenses come. Depart from evil. That's understanding, as the scriptures have said. Let's get that Isaiah 55. Constantly seeking the Lord. When it comes to seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you're either going to be cold, you're either going to be cold or hot. Don't be lukewarm. Don't be lukewarm. This is Isaiah 55 and 6, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked, meaning the wicked Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, decide they commit wicked acts, abominable acts. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man's thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And let him return unto the Lord, our power, and he will have mercy upon him unto our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Meaning, you turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he'll forgive you, man. For the things that you did wrong. 
But if you don't turn back, death, oh, death is waiting at your door. You know, the Israelites that don't turn back to Yahweh by Shemir Al Shai, guess what? Death waits at your door, man. You know, death, shown of, waits at your door. Let's get Jeremiah. You, we, are, we already know how the Lord is coming back. The Lord is coming back cruel with wrath and fierce anger. We're just trying to do the work of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? We give the glory to the Lord. We don't want the glory, we give the glory to the Lord. We give the praise to the Lord. We give the honor to the Lord. Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 13. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, yeah, how about Shimei Rashai? Look, look, listen now. The hope of Israel. Our only hope is yeah, how about Shimei Rashai? Lord willing, we'll receive mercy. And a storm is coming. So like a real storm is coming soon. A storm is coming now, but a real storm is coming, you know? It says, O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. The Israelites that forsake you, how about Shemesh, they go worshiping idols and other entities, you're going to be confounded. The word ashamed mean, means to be confounded, man. You know? It says, and they that depart from thee shall be written in the earth because they have forgotten the Lord. Yahweh by Shemesh, the fountain of living water, man. You know? Heal me, O Lord. Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, and I shall be healed. It says, Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise, man. You know? The only way we're going to be saved is through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, our power, man. That's it. Nothing else is going to save you, Israel. Nothing, nothing is going to save you. Let's go back to Job. Let's go back to Job. Remember, Israel, all the sinners of my people shall die by way of the sword. And look, it ain't nothing. It's how easy it is. It's how easy it is for us to do a lesson. I'm just sitting right here in a chair, just doing a lesson, just going in. J. Alec, it's hard to do a lesson. If, if you don't believe, yeah, it's hard to do a lesson. If you don't believe, this is um, Job 36 and 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity. Talking about the Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. If they obey, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. But if they obey not, the Israelites out there that are not obeying the gospel, the good news, the report, but if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword. And the sword is any killing instrument, man. It's going to be a whole lot of willing and dealing soon. Come, It's a whole lot of willing and dealing going on right about now. But we, we haven't really seen nothing yet, man. The God of the Bible is going to kill a whole lot of people, man. And he's going to start with you Israelites, right? If you don't seek them. So repent, Israel. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword. And they shall die without knowledge, man. You know? They shall die without knowledge, man. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. This is the only thing. Look at Jake. This is the only thing that's going to keep us stable, Israel. You should, you should know that by now. And I'm just, I'm just getting some basic scriptures, you know? This lesson ain't meant, meant, meant to be deep and all that. Some basic scriptures. This is um, Amos chapter 5. Amos chapter 5. I read 4 and I'm going to jump down. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Rashai, and to the house of Israel. A people before us a place, everybody know who the Israelites are by now. A people before us a place, seek ye me, and ye shall live. You know, seek the Lord and ye shall live, man. You know? Let's go, let's go, let's get that Sarah. Let's see. Let's lock it. Let's push this up some. Sarah chapter 2. You're seeking the Lord, you're going to be all right. 
put it too close together. Remember, he would not at all acquit the wicked. Sirach, chapter 2. Come on now. Oh, there we go. Sirach, chapter 2. I'm going to read 10. No, I'm going to read 8. Straight to the point. Sirach, chapter 2, verse 8. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord. And remember, it's a commandment that we fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall. Remember, I read that earlier. The word require, it means to command, you know. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And if you don't fear the Lord, then you know you can't hope for good. If you don't fear the Lord, you can't hope for mercy, man. All right? You got to fear the Lord first to even be in that mind state. It says, um, look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And what's confounded? Put to shame. The Lord said those that are far from him shall be put to shame, right? But the scriptures is telling us the ones that are seeking the Lord. What did, what did it say again? Look at the generation. Jake bugged the hell out, man. Jake is bugged the hell out. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and what's confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and what's forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise to call upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Full of compassion, man. And mercy. Long suffering. And very pitiful. And forgiveth the sins. And saveth in the time of affliction, man. The Lord didn't got us out of a whole lot, whole lot of um, sticky situations, man. You know. And our forefathers were written for an examples of, of the miracles that can happen when you fear the God of the Bible, man. You know, the, the Lord has shown up to perform a miracle. If you fear, if you fear you have by Shem Yahshai, then he will perform a miracle, right? Let's get this. Let's go to 2 Ezra, the 8th chapter. All these scriptures plain. They're coming out plain. Every, all the scriptures are deep, but what I'm saying is, the Lord is making it plain upon the table for you to understand it right about now. Because all the scriptures are deep. 2 Ezra chapter 8. Look, look, verse 3. Straight to the point. 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Few shall be saved, Israel. The elect. You look up that definition for the word few, it goes into the elect. You don't believe me, though, do you? So we, all, we always got to prove it. You know, let's get the definition for few. And then I'm going to go back to the scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up. Let's get few right quick. Let's see, what was it at? Dictionary.com. Bear with me. I want to get the one where it says elect. So just bear with me. Dictionary.com. See what the webs are talking about. Definition one: Not many persons or thing consisting of or amounting to only a small number, at least some, but indeterminately small in number. You see a small number of units or individuals. A special, look, a special limited number. You know what I'm saying? A special limited number. What was that one about elect? Sprinkle. So it's, it's, 
let me, get, let me go to dictionary.com. I just want to bring out this this quick definition, right quick, for the for the the definition few. Let me go to dictionary.com. Dictionaries, like a dictionary.com. Go to dictionary.com right quick. I know how to pull it up there. This dictionary right here tripping. As it says, many are created, but few shall be saved, right? Dictionary.com. Here we go. Let's type in few. Let's type in few here. So we're gonna see right quick. Let's see. Was it gonna trip? Not many, not many, but more than one. Come on now. All of a sudden, the phone want to go slow. Bear with me, Israel. Come on now. It ain't. It ain't um, doing it on here for some reason. But one of the definitions for the word few is elect, man. You know. So let's go back. Let's get that scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. It's trying to hit a point. A whole lot of people going to die, Israel. Take heed. Let's get it one more time. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. So we can ready to see a whole lot of judgment. Lord willing, we have that number to stick around. The Lord see us fit to stick around and watch, watch the rest of the movie. Because we're in a big, we involved in a big giant movie. You know what I'm saying? And we're we seeing characters being taken out of this movie too. The Lord doing his thing. Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? The elect was edified. Don't make cherry, man. Seek the Lord. Everything written up in the Bible is going to come to pass. He says he's going to bring great misery upon the majority of you people. The Israelites that don't turn back, misery is going to come upon you soon. Come shalom.